Hi everyone, welcome back to my math channel, MathWeb. Let us solve question number 3 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for pure math 1. This exam was taken in October November session 2023. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying on calculated technology are not acceptable. First part, write 8 minus square root 15 over 2 square root 3 plus square root 5 in the form a square root 3 plus b square root 5 where a and b are integers to be found. For the first part, consider this one 8 minus square root of 15 divided by 2 square root 3 plus square root 5. We will rationalize this uh, denominator. Denominator uh, involves the square root. So to get rid of the square roots, we have to rationalize. The rule of rationalizing, look at the sign between these two sets. Okay, these two square root uh, numbers. That is plus, so change the sign only. Multiply by 2 square root 3 minus square root 5. Divide by 2 square root 3 minus square root 5. Now in the denominator it becomes the difference of two squares like a plus b a minus b. This is always equals to difference of two squares a square minus b square. This is a this is b okay a plus b and a minus b. In the numerator we will multiply this number by the first value and we get the answer here 16 square root 3 and this 8 multiplied by square root 5, it becomes minus 8 square root 5. This multiplied by this one. And square root uh, number can be multiplied by the square root number. Let me give you the example. This is the rule a multi square root of a multiplied by square root of b means you can multiply the square root numbers together. So it is equals to a b square root. This 15 will multiply by 3, it becomes 45, but here outside is minus, so you can write as minus 2 square root 45. Now this minus 15 square root and minus 5 square root makes it plus and it will be equals to 75. 15 multiplied by 5 is 75. In the denominator it is the difference of two squares you know a plus b and a minus b. So it becomes the square of the first value that is 2 square root 3 square minus square root 5 square. I'm using this formula over here. Now you can simplify as 45 square root as 9 multiplied 5. It gives you the answer 9 will be out of the square root. So this will be 3 square root 5. And same way you can write 75 square root as 25 multiplied 3 square root 5. 25 will be out of the square root. So it will be 5 square root 3. Even though you can use calculator over here to get these answers. Now simplifying the numerator. So it will be 16 square root 3 minus 8 square root 5 minus 2. This 2 will multiply with this 3. Okay. So better you write here 6 directly. This 2 multiply 3 is uh, negative 6 square root 5. And 75 uh, could be written as 5 square root 3 divided by this one 2 square is 4 and this square root will be cancelled with the square. So it left with 3 only, 3 multiplied 4 is 12, minus 5, this square root is cancelled out. Now you could simplify the like terms, this and this value could be added together, so this will be 21, square root 3, and the middle values are the like terms, so you can add them together, so this is minus 46, sorry, minus 14, square root 5 divided by 7. Now this denominator becomes the denominator of each value in the numerator. So 21 square root 3 divided by 7 minus 14 square root 5 divided by 7. We can cancel out 7 with 21. So this is 3 and 7 with 14. This is 2. So answer is 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 5. It is exactly according to our requirement. You can find the values of A and B uh, from here. Uh, compare this one with compare A square root B plus B square root 5 
what is the value of a equate the here values a is 3 and b is negative 2 so first what is done now for second part x plus 5 square root 3 x plus 5 square root 3 square root 5 equals 40 minus 2x square root 3 yes we need to solve this solving means you need to find the value of x we can find out the we can use the result from the first part you know the answer for the first part for the first part we got the answer this one is equals to let me write this one here it will help us in solving next question 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 5 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 5 this is the answer for the first part so we could uh, use this result for the next part it depends now first ask to find the value of x from here for that you have to expand the brackets here so this will be written as x square root 5 this square root 5 multiply here and this square root 5 will multiply the second value this will be equals to plus 5 square root 15 and this is equals to 40 minus 2x square root 3 now uh, collect the values of uh, x is here you can take this value on the left side and bring this value to the right side this becomes positive on the left side so this will be 2x square root 3 plus square root 5 x equals 40 minus 5 square root 15 take out the common x from here on the left side plus square root 5 x is equals to 40 minus 5 square root 15 get the value of x from here so x will be equals to 40 minus 5 square root 15 divided by 2 square root 3 plus square root 5 look at the numerator 5 is common take out 5 common from here so this will be equals to 8 minus square root 15 over 2 square root 3 plus 5 square root okay now look at the uh, first part this value is equals to this one 2 uh, 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 5 so you can replace uh, from first part this one we already got the value we already got the answer for this part okay from part a from part we can replace the value of this one that is equals to 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 5 2 square root 5 so answer of x is 5 will multiply inside it will be 15 square root 3 minus 10 square root 5 so this is the answer for the second part and question number 3 is done if you have any question or any doubt, please write in the comment box. Thank you so much.